We're behind the scenes at Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament School in Bayside, where eighth graders are preparing to present their Shakespearean showcase. Students performed a dozen scenes from various Shakespearean plays for their classmates and families. The Elizabeth Ann Seton Foundation gave us the grant to bring in the um, Arts and Residency program, Stages on the Sound, and they did 15 weeks of Shakespearean work and theater work, and we were so inspired by their their work in progress by the end of the 15 weeks that the art teacher and I wanted to incorporate this into our curriculum and continue their performance skills and working with Shakespeare. These scenes that they're working on now um, uh, put on by their teachers are from uh, plays uh, from all over Shakespeare's canon. First we memorized lines and we started putting some movements into it and so it, we, it just sort of de it developed after a while. Even though we're only doing one scene uh, we had to go, we had to research the whole play, we read books, we wrote essays. They analyzed the language, the words used, and with that they kind of came up with how they can properly and appropriately portray the character. I'm playing Horatio in the play Hamlet, and basically it's about um, me and Bernardo. We see a ghost. Bernardo's basically the one who saw, seen the ghost and believes in him. And I'm the one who's like, there's, not, there's no real ghost, ghosts aren't real. Then he winds up turning, proving me wrong. It's great because they're 14 and you know the, the, one of the things they studied was Romeo and Juliet in, in depth and no matter the age, no matter the era, they're all going through the same thing. All of us learned like we got more comfortable like being on stage like in front of people and like expressing ourselves. I always used to stutter a lot so it really helped when I speak on stage. I've been more formal and stuff now. I'm using correct language. The teachers taught us to be louder, taught us not to be nervous. It's just for fun. And then with the costumes, they became more into it and excited about it. So from the beginning of, of the program till now is a complete 180. And they put sass where they needed sass, and they were able to dig into their own life. In my scene, like, like I'm Lady Montague, so I'm Romeo's mom. And she's like worried about Romeo, like why he's so upset. And that's like, that's a real thing today, because like parents worry. I hope whatever they do in the future, they take this with them because it gave them such a great outlet, such an impressive outlet. You take these skills to become more human, to learn more about what it is to be human, and experience history in a new way, experience other cultures in a new way, and then to create something to then influence future generations. The dedication and skills that brought eighth graders to this stage will also carry them to the next stage of life, high school. Reporting from Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament School in Bayside, I'm Marielena Giassi for Currents.